here we will I will show you how to create these links that are the lines that connect the bands shown here uh, but actually not only the bands as you can see that over here on the right is connected to a part of the type that is all actually a band but not it's not appears that like one of the like v20 or v21 over here so you define a links that txt file that will be defined as follows first is going to be the origin the source and then the target the source uh, you have to specify the carrot type variable name then the position of the starting point from for example of the band from 0 to 1 or like in this case the target is the carrot type 2 that has a bigger range so in this case since it's 10 to 12 the line is going to land at the point 11 in this case uh, we will we will see that the line will start at 0 0.5 so there is going to be a line from 0 0.5 that arrives to the point 11 in the middle of these two uh, bands uh, following we specify the color uh, the color is going to be red from different tonalities the A3 and then we have a comma and the thickness uh, how is going how wide is going to be our tick and in this case 10 points uh, you can specify one point for a thinner tick 5 22 2 and you can see over here that actually you don't need or the bands don't have to create it in the in the bands file or as uh, for example, here the bands, you don't, the landing points doesn't have to be specified here. You can actually change, uh, you can change them. So uh, that's basically the what is the configuration. I'm going to show you yeah, just a bit modification of this later. But well, let's uh, for this to appear have to go to a new part of the file is going to be called links so inside the links you define a link property and you specify the, uh, the file where you have the links this color uh, will overcome all the colors that you have to specify if you don't uh, comment it so if I set it uh, color black all the properties that I have specified in the previous file are going to be overridden. Then the radius. Uh, here, the, these uh, lines that connect the links uh, can be inside the circle that is of one radius, or can, can be outside the radius if we specify a bigger number over here, or even a smaller uh, connection if we specify a slow. A lower number over here for example let's say to 25 the Vizier radius specify the how like twisted is going to be the or is the radius of the circle that connects uh, each one of these uh, points then the thickness and later I will show you how the ribbon property looks like but first let's see uh, this part of radius, this modification, how it looks like. So we reduced the radius you can see that these connection lines went to the inner part of the circle Let's 
set it back to 25. Let's change this zero radius, like for example, to 5. You can see that in this case uh, the lines are more straight. Let's reduce it. So they are like more circular. The lower the number that you set to that radius, you are going to see a like more circular connection. Like for example, in this case, you can see over here. So let's change another property, like for example, the ribbon property. The ribbon are going to show like a ribbon the, the connections that are going to be wider. Very fancy, isn't it? So let's make another more modification to this. These are like the main properties for links, and I will show you here to create an, a new one. Let's say uh, from bar two, I'm going to a connection from bar two to uh, bar four. Uh, bar four goes from zero to five. going to make the connection to the point 0 to 1 and I'm going to make the connection from the range or the 2 and let's say 5 5 and let's make it yellow the thickness of 15 And over here you can see the, the new connection that we made over here is this one. So that's, that's it for this tutorial. Remember you need some help with this. You can hire me to make this work for you. Thank you.